Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome Queens and Kings. I'm AJ. Here on this channel, we discuss all things black and black extensions. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the post notification bell so you do not miss out on any lots content. Today, I will be sharing with you guys my nighttime routine. It is so, 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 so cool to be able to share this with you guys because like before this set of locks, I didn't really have a nighttime routine. I slept on a satin pillowcase and that was basically it. But with this length, I have to do a, I have to do a little bit more now, you know, a, a little bit more than just sleeping on a satin pillowcase, you know what I'm saying? Not a whole lot more though. So uh, let's go ahead and get into these little couple steps. So I start off every night by lock brushing. There's a little bit of controversy when it comes to lock brushing, but I am definitely pro lock brushing. I use a soft bristle brush that I just got from my local beauty supply store. It is soft, so it's not causing me any type of crazy frizziness. I like lock brushing because it makes sure that I don't have any lint in my hair, any debris, anything that got caught up in my locks throughout the day. I am able to brush out of my locks at the end of the night. When you are brushing at the scalp, lock brushing also circulates blood, which stimulates growth. So it's a win-win at the end of the night. I am giving myself a nice little massage and promoting growth with the brush, as well as getting out any type of lint or debris. Some people like to moisturize their locks at night. I do not. One, it is important to know that moisture comes from water. So it doesn't seem like the best thing to do to me to uh, spray my hair with water and then put something over it. You spray your hair with water, you put something over it, it's just going to um, promote heat, you know, in, in your head. And heat and water promotes mold you know and that that's something that we definitely don't want so for me personally I do not do any type of moisturizing at nighttime after I brush my locks I put on my scarf and this particular scarf is actually called a good girl bonnet it is by Megan good it is her bonnet brand or I don't even know if you want to call it a, a bonnet but it's her scarf brand I will put the link to this down below I really do love this it is satin throughout it is secure so there is no slipping um, and it's long enough to cover the length of my locks without being uncomfortable I prefer to use something like this over a bonnet just because bonnets don't maintain any type of retwist you put your locks up in a bonnet and they're kind of just wild and free and flowing um, and I think that that is a plus for a bonnet but um it's just not not a plus for me um if i'm retwisting my hair and i'm trying to perform maintenance and maintain my hair i need that that to i need for that to last as long as possible so i prefer something that is tighter on my head so for me this good girl wrap is everything and literally that's it it is the fastest easiest thing ever in life, um, again, like I said before, I used to do the satin pillowcase, and I love the satin pillowcase because in real life, I don't like to have, I don't like to have anything on my locks. Like, I really don't. But because of the length, a satin pillowcase kind of isn't enough. Um, that's going to protect you, like here where the pillow is, and then that means that all of this length is going to be on the cotton of my covers. You know. And that's gonna cause an issue I, I guess the only way to combat that would be to like sleep in complete silk or satin you know which is hot I just don't want to do that either so this is my routine just a brush and a wrap and I'm good to go so what do you do at nighttime to keep your wraps under wrap I want to hear it down in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one until then be bold be empowered be YouTube.